Hey, Riley, what's going on? Ricardo here with my Amazon guy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I was browsing through some products in your category and I came across your lifestyle designs brand. And first and foremost, congrats on over 3,000 ratings. You know, you guys have 4.3 stars out of five and you have an Amazon's choice batch. So, hey, virtual high five, pat yourselves on the back. You guys are doing an amazing job. But one of my jobs here as an account executive, Riley, is to look for and find potential opportunities with sellers on Amazon. And I took a good look at your listing and I uncovered some things that, and some, some opportunities that you can take advantage of so that not only can this lesson perform better, but actually sell better. So I'm just making this quick video to show you. I hope you don't mind. Um, but I'm just going to get right to it because I want to save you some time. OK, so if we take a look at your keyword distribution, we'll see that you have over 5000 sponsored keywords and 3000 organic keywords. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you that obviously you're you're advertising a lot more than than you're ranking organically. And um, that's definitely an area for improvement because, you know, we like to see a one to two ratio. So for every sponsored keyword that you have, you want to have uh, two organic keywords. OK, so just to illustrate that point for you, um, I started by the highest search volume on here. And as you can see, your organic rankings, there's a lot of gaps. Right. And, and they're very uh, you're, you're ranking very low on the page. And then, as you can see, your 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 sponsor rankings are not um, they're not that much better, but you know they're still ranking pretty low. Um, but you have a lot more variety, obviously, because you're 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 um, you're spending more on advertising than you are ranking for organic. So we definitely need to fix that ratio because you know organic. You got to think about organic as you know free sales, right? Because you're not you know you're not advertising, you're not paying for them. You're just get getting visitors organically. Um, it, advertising is definitely a great way to 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 start that process, but you don't want to rely on it so much. As, you don't want to rely more on advertising than you do on SEO. You also want to focus on SEO because advertising is a very short term solution, right? Uh, organic is more of a long term. So I actually took uh, one of the keywords. Here. So keyword card holder, right? You're ranking organically 112, and you're paying to be in rank. Uh, you're paying to be in position 13 now. Organically, you're ranking very low, so you're not being seen. With advertising, at least you're being seen. But if you go over here, just just this keyword alone, right? Card holder has over a has a volume of over 128,000 people, three million dollars up for grabs within the next 30 days on Amazon, right? So you can imagine how much bigger a piece of this buy you could be getting if you're ranking organically for this keyword. You don't have to advertise for it as much, right? You'd be getting a lot more from it. So I actually uh, searched one of your competitors here and I'm not doing any product comparisons. That's not what I'm looking to do. I know it's a different offering. What I want to show you is their uh, PPC and SEO strategy. So as you can see, they have 3000 organic, uh, excuse me, 3000 sponsored keywords and 6000 organic keywords. OK, and this is why they're selling like they're selling. As you can see, they're ranking number one for all of these keywords right here. Number one, number two, right? Number three, number four, right? They're, they're I mean, they're top three for all these keywords right here. So the reason why they're selling like they're selling is because they're focusing on their SEO and their PPC in a very strategic way, okay? SEO and PPC, you know, they have a very synergistic relationship. So they, they, they work in tandem. So the reason why they're ranking so much for these keywords is because they're really honing in in their SEO. And you can tell because they have a very optimized title, right? They have optimized bullet points. As you can see, they have a from the brand module. And surprisingly, they don't have any A plus content underneath it. OK, so that's so that that basically shows you that there's, there's gaps and holes in their listing as well. They're still selling as well as they are. So imagine if they were to optimize it as much uh, as as they should, right? Which is great news for you because you can actually do that instead of them and then you can you can overtake them. So that's just some food for thought. I also wanna show you, this is what we do in step three of our three-phase SEO process. I'm gonna sort for organic ranks uh, 20 through 50, okay? And right now it shows that you have 349 keywords, okay? So with these current rankings that you have right now, you're not really benefiting from, from the traffic that's coming to these keywords. So what our focus would be is to lift you up in the ranks. So instead of ranking for 32, 36, you know, 41, 28, you're ranking within the top 10 for all of these keywords. What that's going to do is that that's going to increase the overall SEO health in your account. And obviously, you're going to start getting seeing a lift in organic rankings and a lift in sales and revenue because you're going to be within the top 10 for all of these keywords. That's where our focus would be. So that's that's going to be 
that's uh, phase three of our three phase SEO process. I want to go back to your listing for a second, Riley, and I want to point out some things. Um, I love the fact that you have, you know, you have great images. Now, uh, this image right here is very uh, pixelated. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's it's not very high quality. It shows the product and from afar, it, it looks clear. But when you zoom into it, it's just, you know, it doesn't it's not marketable. It's it's not um, it's not sleek. Um, when you look at this image, see, this is this is a little bit better. You can see more detail, more crisp, you know, it's more trustworthy. So I like the fact that you have great images. It looks like you're using an influencer right here. That's awesome. So I, I like the fact that you provide a lot of information in the images. I would actually like to see more use cases for the for the for the product. Okay. Um, I love the fact that you have a video. What I like to see more human faces. Like I see her face here and that's cool. But I would like to see maybe a group of friends or some something like that, you know, using the the case. Um, because you know, it's been proven time and time again that human faces convert, especially in e-commerce. Okay. Remember, they can't they can't taste, touch, or feel your product. They can only see it. So you gotta give them, you gotta give them that. So I love the fact that you have a video. That's awesome. Now your title. Um, I was looking at your listing title and you have 135 characters. You definitely want to bump that to 200 because your listing title is one of the most important SEO um, SEO uh, signals for your for your for your listing. So this is the first place that Amazon looks at. So you definitely want to optimize that. I love that you have your brand store. Great job on that. And your bullet points. You can have up to 250 characters for each bullet point. Right now, it looks like you're using about maybe half of that. So you definitely want to optimize this and. and you know, it, it's just free real estate, right? Free real estate for you to rank higher and, and have more relevant search terms. Also, uh, taking a look at your at your A plus content, let me take a look at your alt text here. Um, you can have up to 100 characters of, in your alt text right here and, and see, so this line right here should, should probably go to around here. So you're, you're definitely missing out on potential uh, searches here as well as here. So you, on, Every single image you have up to 100 characters that you can put in. So you definitely want to take care of that. I love the fact that you have very useful content here. You have what, what appears to be a testimonial. Uh, oh, excuse me. This is this is actually you guys, Riley and Parker. There we go. Cool. I like your A plus content. Definitely, you can use up to seven modules. So uh, you definitely want to keep that in mind. And we always recommend a product grade right at the end because that allows you to cross sell and and uh, recommend different products and increase your revenue. So let me show you something real quick. This is uh, Stephen Pope's listing. He's the founder of our company. And as you can see, uh, he has very, very beautiful designed images, right? Awesome video, fully optimized title, right? Fully optimized bullet points. He added some emojis to add some personality to it. That's pretty cool. And when you go over here, you'll see the from the brand module. Um, this, this, uh, what this module allows you to do, it allows you to talk about your brand, where you guys got your start, um, you know, what do you guys do, why you guys do what you do. I feel like when, when it's, uh, when, uh, for a commodity product like a phone wallet car holder, or case, uh, yeah, phone wallet car, car holder, I was gonna say case, it's not really a case, phone wallet car holder, you wanna focus on, you know, what is the brand value of my product, right? Because when you think about water, you think about Fiji, you think about smart water. It's just water, right? It's infused with different minerals, but what sells it is the brand behind it. Fiji comes from, you know, the Fiji Islands. I'm pretty sure you've read like the little sticker, uh, sticker on, on the back. And then smart water, you know, makes you smart, you know, uh, you know, infused with electrolytes and minerals and stuff like that. So it's brand, right? It's the same exact product, it's just water, it's just brand. So I think that that's a, that's a mindset that I think can definitely help you in this product. Um, and, and you should definitely see a, a conversion boost because of that. So that's the brand. That's the brand module. Um, as you can see here, A plus content, you know, we have a lot of crawlable text, right? So we can index higher for, for a lot more keywords, right? So as you can see, beautiful images, text, beautiful images, text. And then we have the product comparison grid. Oh, he, he has, this is his listing. Um, so he has a product comparison grid and this allows this allows them to cross the different products, show different offerings, and increase uh, increase uh, average order value. Okay, so those are some tips right off the bat that I see in your listing. I definitely see a lot of growth potential with your listing, Riley, um, and with your brand as a whole. Here at my Amazon guy, we work with over two hundred and fifty brands, over three hundred million dollars of revenue a year uh, for our clients. So we've been doing this for a while. Trust me, we know what we're doing. 
um, like I said, I, I see the growth potential in, in this brand. So I would love to sit down with you and, and talk about, you know, what are some uh, maybe some more strategies and tips that I can give you. Uh, maybe we can take a look at a different listing or something like that. But I, I definitely would love to have a chat with you. Uh, sit down and see if there's a way that we can possibly, you know, fill those gaps and holes for you and really, you know, take your your Amazon brand and, and, and your product to, to the level that it deserves. So if you're interested, feel free to click the book a call button at the bottom of the email. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. OK, keep up the great work, Riley. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.